it's Jessica here with another layout for the Bramble Fox design team. Today I'm using the 100% mix here and this beautiful Wander Geotag set. Oh, I just love that. I'm going to use two photos of my boys playing in our local campground playground. And I actually was very inspired by this whole entire layout by this little scrap of paper that I have. It was already torn and ripped from another layout that I did. So it's a little piece I had left over. You can see there's a little uh, circle punch that I had punched out of it at one point in time. But that really drove my entire layout for this. So I love when that happens because it just sparks some creativity and inspiration right off the bat. And I already knew what direction I was going to go. So I just distressed the edges of that piece. And then I found a film strip that matches this collection. This is the Wherever collection by 49 and Market. And then I've grabbed some of these rub ons as well from one of their older collections. And I just cut the one in half here. So I'm going to tuck one up here in this section and then the other one kind of diagonal to give it some balance and then I'm just going to put that film strip there behind my photos along with some other papers from this collection now I'm just pulling out some scraps I've got some little scrap pieces left over from other layouts that are just tucked into my small paper pad stash here I'm going to use them up and use what I have again this one here that's um that I'm ripping right now is actually a scrap from another layout and I decided that it would look really cute if I left that piece on the top but just grabbing my office templates from the shop and I'm going to put a little tab shape at the top so I'm just using my pencil and my template here I did leave one side of the backing on my template so it remained white versus clear because it's just a little bit easier for me to see that way and um, you can rip that off if you want it to be clear but mine stayed white because I left the one side on so I've got that trimmed down and now it's just like a little file folder and I just love the way that that looks. I ripped the side on the right side of it and then I'm just pulling out some other embellishments and things from this uh, collection that I'm going to throw on here. So I'm going to go ahead and stick my rub-ons onto my sheet of paper here. I'm just using a white sheet of textured cardstock by Colorbook and I am just doing my rub-on transfer here using a bone folder. This rub-on transfer set actually came with a smaller one, but I prefer to use my own because it's a little bit bigger and it's a little bit quicker for me to apply it that way. So you just want to make sure that you actually rub this on all parts of the transfer. That way it gets a nice um, grip to your sheet of paper or whatever you're transferring to and it applies the whole thing. So here I've got all the little bits and pieces that I've just dumped out onto my desk from the ephemera packs. Um, I just pulled out the one. I also have a chipboard set too that I'll be pulling out here in a minute. But I'm just going to start tucking some things behind my photo and creating some nice layers. I'm going to grab some tickets, kind of rip them apart to tuck here and there. And I've got my title piece that I'm working on. I've grabbed 100% and Fearless to combine those as my title. I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to place my title. So I think I'm just going to put it along the bottom here. But I need to add a couple more things to cover up that little circle. So I grabbed this. I wasn't quite feeling that but I did like the little pop of orange so I'm gonna actually grab some little ticket pieces here I'm trying to make that work and then eventually I'm gonna grab my little border dies from the shop that I have I bought the um, the jumbo set in the shop that comes with I think it's eight border dies all together it's a little bit cheaper to buy them all together in both sets versus buying each set individually so I bought that and I'm going to actually cut a border strip to put underneath there that looks kind of like a little tablet in that orange color and I'm grabbing some other little things like some leafy bits that I can tuck in around my photos. So I've got my title there. I've chosen the black piece in Fearless and then that nice blue shade for the 100% because I thought that just sums up my boys perfectly and it's just going to go perfect with this layout because they really are 100% fearless when it comes to them playing outside. They're just wild and crazy. They love nature. They love this little park and they love to camp. So it was just perfect for this layout. I've got all the these little ephemera bits here that I can tuck in and around my photo and just create some beautiful layering and then I'm going to use these little butterflies and things along the bottom portion of my layout. I'm also going to end up grabbing some shimmers sprays and just adding some splatters onto this layout as well and then at the very end I will even add a few sequins. 
So I'm going to link everything down below in the description for you in case you want to know anything that I've used or grab anything from the shops. So I'll link that all down below for you. And as usual, if you guys have any questions for me, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer for you. So I'm going to pop some music in here while I finish this one up and I will stop in at the end of this video to show you the finished layout.
So here is the finished layout. I really, really like how this one came together with that machine stitching at the top and all that beautiful goodness on there. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Thanks for being here. I'll link everything below in the description for you and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much guys. Bye-bye.